manganese is getting reduced right so we say that mn7 plus is gaining 5 electrons to give mn2 plus now you can see there's a problem here that we cannot cancel out the electrons on uh, both sides because here there are 5 electrons here there are there is one electron so we'll have to multiply this equation by 5 So we multiply this equation by 5. Now these electrons can cancel out. So when we add these two, we see that there are 5 uh, Fe2 plus ions. There are 5 Fe2 plus ions and therefore this will become 5 and this will also become 5. Right? So both these become 5. Now if you see, if we start balancing all of them now, if we start balancing this equation now, what we will get is we will get um, first we'll have to multiply this by 4 and then we'll have to multiply this by 8 so if you add all the charges in this equation now if you add all the charges then what you get is my so let's add the total charges okay so minus 1 plus 10 is 9 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 17 so the total charge on the left side is plus 17 the total charge on the right side plus 2 plus 5 into 3 which is 15 plus 2 plus 15 which is plus 17 so now the overall charge on the left and right are balanced the species on the left and right are balanced now this is a correct balanced equation the only thing we did was that we added 5 to the fe's and that's it the rest of the balanced equation was the same so this is how we actually balance equations what you have to keep in mind that both species and charges need to be balanced and once you have that in mind you'll be good to go yeah so our last bit for this topic uh, for this balancing chemical equations topic is ionic equations okay how do we write ionic equations so let's say that uh, there is a reaction which is HCl plus NaOH giving NaCl plus H2O. So this is a neutralization reaction. Now this is the balanced equation for the neutralization reaction, right? This is a balanced equation. Now what we know about these three compounds, these three compounds over here is that they are ionic compounds yeah because hcl is giving an h plus yeah so it's an ionic compound so uh, what so what we do is now that um, we have to write a balanced equation so here we have h plus uh, a balanced ionic equation now we have to write this is a balanced equation now we have to write a balanced ionic equation so h plus and cl negative because obviously then this is na plus and oh negative again very obvious this is Na plus and Cl negative. So as you can see over here, the Na plus and Na plus are repeating on both sides, so we cancel them out. The Cl negative and Cl negative are, are appearing on both sides, so we cancel them out. So the balanced ionic equation, the ionic equation for this reaction, not anything else, the ionic, this, so this is the overall reaction. This is also very important, but we need to know what the ionic equation as well. The ionic equation for this reaction is H plus plus OH negative giving us H2O. This is the ionic equation for this reaction. So the Na plus ions and the Cl negative ions are actually called spectator ions. They are actually called spectator ions because they are not taking part in the ionic equation. They are taking part in the reaction, right? but they're not taking part in the ionic equation so the ionic so the spectator ions are never written in the ionic equation because they're not taking they are not changed they are not changed so we never write the spectator ions in the ionic equations this is what i wanted to tell you now uh, i want to i want you to look at the 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 overall equation the overall reaction equation the balanced equation for the reaction very carefully so 
Now let's count the oxidation numbers of each element. Okay, hydrogen plus one, 